Hi Starseeds, it's Ophenia and Sakal here. Today we're sharing with you uh, our take on spiritual relationships. We are cosmic shamans and teachers of universal consciousness. So we've worked with so many clients over the many, 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 many years. And what we find is that this is probably one of the bigger areas that people have questions about, need guidance upon, need to move through layers of emotionality and thought patterns and mind stuff and DNA stuff and everything. So spiritual relationship, spiritual partner, it's so big. And the reason it's so big is because of so many reasons. We all want to find a mate. We all want to share our journey with someone else. And we want to share it with someone, especially when we're on such a high initiate spiritual path. We want to share it with someone who understands us and who we can be with safely, etc. and grow with. Now, one of the key areas that we find that often people have issues with or have to grow through initiations with is that they are growing faster than their spiritual partner, than their current relationship. And so on the spiritual journey, how do you deal with that particular element? So we'll, we'll touch on other elements as well within spiritual relationship as guided by the team and our spirits. But one of the ones we want to start with is how do you deal with, you've had this spiritual awakening, you've had this opening, you've had this insight of, oh wow, I'm a spiritual being here. I'm, I might even be like a star seed or a light worker. I'm on a mission. I've got things to do here. I'm, 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 I'm not just here to do my job or build this or have a house and kids and whatever else and friends and do a normal life. I actually have more that I want to do here. But your partner is not there yet. They're not as interested in all that spiritual stuff and you may have started with energies and chakras or maybe you've seen energy and then you grow and you read and you learn and you learn about multidimensionality and everything else as your particular journey went or your empathic nature, your telepathic nature, your clairvoyance, something like that opened up or someone you went to a seminar or a workshop and that excited you or you know you just had a dream and that ignited your you know a download from spirit or whatever everyone's got their stories but your partner isn't there yet and so as you know we do the ascension consciousness levels on the ascension consciousness scale and so you can see there's gaps occurring between partners when the gaps get bigger than 150 points on that scale we find it gets really tough because there's a misalignment of an understanding of a consciousness of a timeline that you're in so how do you deal with that what do you then do do you is it time to leave this partner is it time to get this partner moving faster but then you run into their willingness and your willingness so you can't really do someone else's journey what do you do and so there's a lot of different answers but a lot of people looking for answers around that both male and female because often one of the partners can wake up faster or be a little bit ahead of the journey now we've mentioned in one of our previous videos that was our you know twin flame soulmate video that we are in a twin flame relationship so we understand all the different layers of that relationship and other relationships as well so we share with others about different key elements but one of the ones is to find a spiritual relationship that's going to be satisfying for you is to know that it always starts with you it always starts inside of you with your male female masculine feminine dynamic so if there's currently issues reflected back at you within your spiritual relationship it has to do with you going within so some of these things you can solve by diving deeper into your own wounding. However, it's also very relevant to understand that you can't outgrow a partner. And if they're not ready, you can't make them be ready. It's not fair to them and their free will, and you can't change their willingness. They have to do that. So then you need to look at, well, what do I want? Is this going to be suitable for me? Is this going to be suitable for my family? And sometimes it, you know, it's time to move on. That's a reality you must face within that as well. But also doing that inner work and really finding your own core wounds because perhaps there's some core wounds that are blocking the progress of the relationship moving forward. Absolutely. The, 
the, the key areas that we really see in people is the patience for waiting uh, for their partner to catch up, mm. the patience and compassion that they've been through this and that. And you know, I can tell you from my experience in past relationships, uh, you know, you can only be patient and compassionate for so long and it becomes unhealthy for everybody involved. Mm. And so it's really important to look at, okay, so my willingness is at this level, I'm willing to look at different areas, look at the dynamics within myself, the divine union within, within myself, the feminine, the masculine energies within myself. Am I taking care of all of those? Am I, am I willing to take the steps that my masculine is calling? from me? Am I willing to sit in and be with and nurture what my feminine, my divine feminine, the creativity she's asking of me, etc, etc. Am I creating a balance within all of that? And even the divine inner child, that is a massively key area where in relationships people get triggered, 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 triggered. Now you have possibly witnessed within yourself, unless you are in, in your partnership or past relationships, uh, two extremely calm people. I say calm because there's always some under there you may have witnessed within yourself in past relationships or your current relationship where something triggers you or your partner and you you react like a child would you you have a tantrum you um, shut down you go into emotionality uh, to a point where you hit out you know like the the sting of the scorpion or the crying child in the corner leave me alone you're being yeah. mean to me instead of facing it confronting it not wanting the conflict or just shutting down saying this is not okay to be talking about this you're you know uh, all of that, type, the reactive energies is, the, is this, that inner child, the wounding that possibly the mother or the father or those types of roles from when you were a child are still with you. The wounding, the patterning, the decision that you are, as a child made in that moment in time that when someone says that to me, oh, that's how I feel. Yeah. That I need to protect myself, so I'll go into either shutdown, I'll go into, you know, over yelling. I will drop everything and leave to be safe, etc. And we, we've seen that time and time again, where it's a pattern from childhood, and so it's 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 really reparenting your divine in a child to a place where spirit is infused in the child as well, and it's not reactive. It feels safe in the world. It feels connected in the world. It feels listen to in the world etc so again coming back to the patience and compassion like Sakal said the ascension consciousness levels are important to look at uh, so there may be you know quite big gaps however if there is a willingness if you see a changeability in that person but they're going through a big initiation then yeah there's some patience there however if it stays that way and it constantly stays that way and uh, you know you you've worked on some things together but you haven't seen any willingness to change any letting go of any no patterns in the initial you know period there was a promise and they just genuinely believed it that they were going to make this shift or look into this or be yeah. with you in a certain way but it hasn't happened that's when it is time to really be honest with yourself and with them because again it's not only extremely unhealthy for you to stay within a, a situation that is stagnant it's also very painful for the other because you're not being in integrity within yourself you're staying with somebody asking them to be someone who they're not yet pulling on their energy to say you're not good enough I need you to be more than this and when you're doing that to somebody who's not ready somebody who's not willing it's very painful for them and for you and so that's why we we really want to share a couple of these keys in relation to you know sometimes you just got to face that yes you love them yes you feel a deep connection and there is a large part of the relationship that that really sits well with you but there is a big chunk here that's just not shifting and I need to face that. So what are the choices there? So within it, I mean, whether you decide it's time to move on or not, it's very important first to go through a little process. And one of the ones is to look at 
are the, the, the issues there that I'm facing within this current relationship, do they have to do with my own internal issues? Because within relationship, you're not going to get more direct mirrors than within relationship. And so if there's some healing for you to do, then you can move that relationship forward. But if there's something happening of you're just accelerating on a spiritual path and they are not and they're not willing to, then there's another dynamic at play. Yes. So if you first haven't looked at that, that's a first step to get started. Mm -hmm. The other is a lot of people choose um, when they're on this spiritual journey to go it alone until they are ready and there's a lot to be said for that as well because if you do your own inner inner journey and your own inner healing with your masculine and feminine work you're going to have to do that anyway and so within relationship it's going to be mirrored to you now it doesn't mean that doing it alone or with a partner is better or worse it's just how your circumstances are and what you're after but if you're one of the people that is in relationship after relationship after relationship because of a deep fear of being alone or a deep fear that you need that to be complete as a person in the world then that's a pattern to be looked at and then there might be it might be healthy for you to go through a period of time where you are doing your own journey because then you can do deep inner healing and everyone has different elements of that so it's not better to be alone or better to be in relationship as you do yes. this but look at your own wounding is always going to be the answer to raising your consciousness, becoming more whole in your own divine union balance, in your own masculine feminine dynamics, whether you're a male or a female, it doesn't matter. And then you can attract, meet, manifest in the field, a partner which has done the same work. So if you don't do the wounding, you're going to find relationship after relationship after relationship. You'll find the same wounding, even if it starts off really glorious in the beginning. Then after a while, those same wounds sprout up because they're a manifestation from your inner world. So funnily enough, relationship to get a better relationship, you need that better divine union balance in yourself. Now, one of the things that we've found over the years has helped us massively is a process called the Divine Decree process. It's in our Ascension Consciousness Man. You can get that on the website if you want. What it does is it releases a lot of belief systems across all time, space and dimensions that your masculine energy has or your feminine energy has. It's a lot of inner work you can do by yourself with your spirit and your teams and you can do hours and hours of that type of work. We've done so much of that work and it really helps to lift it because sometimes just even tapping or talking it through with your partner isn't going to help because both are stuck in wounds and then doing that internal release process or doing a meditation specifically about the areas you 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 know run into if it's codependency or feeling alone or being afraid of whatever in the world you can also do meditations around it this process particularly helps to lift all sorts of layers from your energy bodies but also from your DNA because it can be taken you know through the DNA levels your parents may have dealt with these same wounds they're in your DNA and it's you who's going to heal them so that's where that process can assist as well yes beautiful one of the the um, tools that uh, I like to sort of suggest uh, to keep in mind especially if you're on your own but even if you're in a relationship that maybe you're not fully satisfied with or you you want to uh, enhance it but if you are on your own or you've just broken up with somebody or you're looking for your spiritual partner your spiritual mate your soulmate your twin flame whatever it is that you're really <sighs> calling out for come to a place of intention of falling deeply in love with yourself mm, beautiful because it's it's really uh, when you come when you you know the where the little micro of a relationship within us and if you if you bring it out to the macro we're all one we're one beingness and so within us we're one beingness and to come into a place of divine union to fall deeply in love with yourself then others can fall deeply in love with you then you can fall deeply and honestly in love with somebody else without that neediness without the, the, codependency. the codependence without yeah. the cords without the if you don't do this I'm going to feel like that if I don't do this you're gonna feel like that I need to please you I need your fear approval. safety there's so many 
dynamics yep. and belief systems and, and really look at uh, the role models that you had in your parents and around you, your first relationships, any baggage left over, use the EFT tapping tools to tap out. The Divine Decree process goes very, very deep. We will be doing some work on that at another time. Yeah. It's, it's really about falling deeply in love with yourself so that you come from a place of balance and f fulfillment, filled. You are fully filled within yourself and you can come to somebody filled, not like, give to me, <laughs> make me feel good about myself because I don't feel good about myself. I need you to make me feel good about myself. Uh, when, when two people come together and they're both full, then that's fulfillment within the relationship. Full as in their happiness Whole. and wholeness the, in the themselves. The divine union, yeah. wholeness. Not full of emotions <laughs> they need to tap up. <laughs> yeah, so really allowing that, oh, how can I love myself more? Yeah. You know, not the classic, oh, you need to love yourself, kiss yourself in the mirror and all that stuff. It's really about deep inner work deep looking at all the areas that you have yeah. judged yourself that yeah. you're scared of your partner judging you or you're scared of your future partner judging you or you believe you can't attract that type of partner or you're so desperate for a partner you'll do anything you will you will be a certain way and then once you're in the relationship oh you start to change and the partner's like why are you all so spiritual now you weren't so spiritual before i'm not spiritual it's not going to work out like this you know really be who you are with yourself and then be who you are with your partner, with your, with the people that you may be dating, with the people that you're looking out to, and just keep bringing it back to yourself and step forward in integrity of I will be who I am, like it or not, love it or and, not. And that's a really big key as well on the journey is to be honest with what you're putting out there. Yes. And it's okay if you don't want, let's say, a long-term relationship right now and you're dating and you're having fun, that's great, but be honest with yourself that that's what you're doing. And if you want that long-term spiritual relationship, it starts with a lot of inner work or it keeps going with a lot of inner work. Ultimately, we're all souls here on our own individual journey and we can do that together with others, whether they be spiritual partners, twin flames, our children, our closest friends, etc. We journey together, but it's ultimately all those people in your life are reflections back to you. Not always of your wounds as you raise an ascension consciousness, but they are part of your mission. They are part of your life by choice. And a spiritual partner, a spiritual relationship is a very, very big mirror in that way, but also a big working together because you do get that effect of one and one is three or even much more where you work together. You can do mission work together if that's what you've planned for yourself. And if you follow Spirit's guidance and you do the inner healing and the inner work and you become really happy with yourself, then spirit will guide you towards your divine partner, whether it's a twin flame, a soulmate, or any other divine spiritual relationship, that's totally fine. You know, and if you're interested in a little bit more about the twin flame journey, we will tag link the video of the twin flame later on for those of you interested in that particular journey. Um, but it's, it's a very important thing to realize. It's about your, your inner journey, and you can do that with someone else. Yes, and to just come back to that place of if you're in a relationship uh, and you have gone through a lot of ascension and awakening process and you're, you've done a lot of self-work, etc., but your partner has not, has no idea, doesn't really like what you're doing, doesn't want to hear about it, it's a very separate thing. Can you see how that's not a holistic way to live? Mm. You're not accepting all of yourself because there's this whole pocket over here that is not being accepted. That's when you're not really living in your center. Yeah. You're living in your center over here in this little pocket, but over here you're pretending to be this other person with a human suit on with this partner who, who just wants to stay human. That's when it's really important to look at, yes, I love this person, but you know what? It's time. I yeah. have grown. Yeah. And maybe in a year after I've, I've moved on, maybe they'll grow. It's unlikely, 
but I'm willing to do whatever it takes because this is my journey, that's their journey, it's okay, I need to continue to expand, to grow, that is what life is, it's growth. So, so. There's so, I mean, there's so much to be said about this, but these are some really key points to move forward on and look so many blessings on your divine spiritual relationship journey. Yes, lots of love. See you next time guys, many blessings.